Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve low microphone settings on your Windows 10 computer. So if you find that you're not really hearing properly, your microphone's a little bit messed up, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go over a couple of different things on how you guys can go about resolving this problem fairly quickly. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu and just type in a control panel. This tutorial should apply for Windows 7 and newer editions. So once you're underneath the best matching control panel, you just want to left click to open that up. And then this view by, you want to set it to large icons. If it's set to category or something else, you want to set it to large icons. And then you want to go and locate sound from this list. So left click on sound. Now you want to left click on the recording tab, so left click on that. So you can see that it's actually picking up my microphone right now on my computer. So if I just left click on that, you can left click again on properties once you've selected your microphone. Might be multiple microphones listed in here, just make sure you're downloading the, just make sure you're using the correct one. It really only should be one or two in here and it probably will be the default device which is indicated by a green circle with a white check mark going through it. So I'm going to left click on properties here. And you want to go and left click on the levels tab. So if you need to adjust anything, you might want to adjust the microphone settings up to 100% or higher. And if you left click on this little sound icon as well, it'll give you a preview. I would suggest taking note of whatever's here currently. So if you end up going through it and then you forgot what you did and maybe you wanted to go back to how it was before for some reason, you will easily be able to do that. Just take note of whatever's listed here before you do anything is my suggestion. But you can see my microphone settings are turned up and my microphone boost is set to 10 decibels. So that's really not going to be an issue on my end here. But again, I think that would actually probably be able to resolve most of your issues on your microphone setups. So I'm going to left click on OK here just to close out of this window. Another thing we can try if we open up a web browser, it doesn't really matter which one, I'm going to open up Google Chrome, that's usually my go-to for these tutorials. And once Google Chrome is open, I'm going to navigate over to Google.com. I'm going to do a quick Google search. And we're going to type in Realtek. So R-E-A-L-T-A-T-E-K. Then high definition audio codecs. So C-O-D-E-C. -E exactly how it appears on my screen. One of the best results should say high definition audio codecs. You want to open that up. So then you want to accept the above, left click on next. Now you want to download the correct one for your version of Windows here. So if you are running a 32-bit version of Windows, you want to select the 32-bit one and the 64-bit one respectively if you're running a 64-bit version of the operating system. If you're unsure, you can just open up the start menu, type in system. Underneath settings, we're going to left click on system here. So it wasn't the best result, but it was a little further down the list. You can see the control panel path up here as well if you want to go through the control panel. And it is a 32-bit operating system, so that's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to select the 32-bit global version. So I'm just going to left click on that little hyperlink to begin the download. Pop-up might be blocked by Google Chrome, but you just want to open it up regardless because sometimes it will block pop-ups. And it appears it was trying to take us to another site to actually download the file that was redirecting. So it's about 169 megabytes here, so it will take a couple minutes to download. Please be patient. I will keep the video recording just so you guys get a feel for how long this process actually takes. Again, it should only take a couple minutes here. And we're almost done once we actually are finished downloading this driver software. It's going to extract and it should be pretty much good. Now, if you guys do have a different audio driver, so if you went through services and you saw something different, you're more than welcome to go ahead that way as well. However, you know, this is a pretty generic driver utility here. Most Windows computers have it included. So that's why we're going to be going through with this method. And if you're ever uncomfortable, you're welcome to create a system restore point before installing anything. I always suggest that to people as well. But everything I'm showing shouldn't have any negative repercussions, at least none that I am aware of. So again, it looks like we have about a minute left to finish the download process here, and I will jump back in with the recording.
Okay, so once it's finished, I'm just going to open it up one time to actually begin the installation process. Get a user account control window, left click on yes to accept. <laughs> So then you want to select next to continue the process. So then it might ask uh, maintenance complete, install shield wizard has finished performing the maintenance operations. Um, do you want to restart your computer now? So I would actually suggest you do, so you select yes, I want to restart my computer now. Make sure you close out of any open programs or applications. And then we're going to select finish here. It should begin restarting our system, and hopefully your microphone issues have been resolved at this point. So again, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.